What's up guys? My name is Khan and we're back today with more scrap mechanic and today we're going to do something that's crazy We're going to go kill a giant red boss I actually found a place where there's just a bunch of giant red bosses So we're gonna go there and we're going to kill them, but first uh, we're growing some potatoes So I only have this many potatoes, which is like I think 400 something potatoes, but we're growing a whole field of potatoes because I feel like we need more potatoes to deal with the uh, big red bosses. We've got a ton of beets. I grew some beets last night. So now we've got beets and it's wonderful. So we're just gonna have to deal with this. Now, while we're waiting for that, uh, we got to put a bed on this vehicle because we're gonna take this to the big red boss zone. Um, and we want to be able to respawn, of course, if we die. So I'm gonna somehow slap a bed on the back of this. And then you guys also said to change these lights around with a logic gate, which I actually thought was a cool idea. So there was a comment and they were saying the top lights should only turn on when your vehicle's in off-road mode. Otherwise, they should just stay off and you should only use the center lights. So I thought that was a cool idea and I think we can do that pretty easy here. We'll just put a logic block there and we'll paint it black to sort of blend in. And that stays as an AND gate. And then these lights here come through this AND gate. So if the lights are on and you're in off-road mode, then they'll work. So if we turn our lights on now, oh no, that's the wrong button. If we turn our lights on, there we go, it's only those. But when we switch into off-road mode, it turns on all four. Same sense, if we turn off our lights, all of them turn off. That's a really cool idea. I don't even think, honestly, we need four lights to be perfect. Does it, it kind of widens it a little bit, I guess? And now we just need to put a bed on it, so, um, where the heck is my... Where'd my piston-powered vehicle go? Uh-oh. Did it drive off on its own? Wait. Hold on. Connection tool. There's that. There's that. Where the heck is it? Oh, oh, right there. What the heck? What? Oh, it just probably... Did it sink to the ocean? Okay. Well... You know what? That's actually a pretty good parking spot for it. Is it moving? No, it's, it's just off. It's just down. Yeah, you know, I just need the bed. Yeah, that's fine. New respawn point is the crashed ship. Oh, I see. If you delete your only respawn point, it moves it to the crashed ship. Well, that's fine. We're going to put it up here. And um, let's see if we can actually do this. I just want to attach it to like... No, can I put it... Oh, there we go. Can I rotate it though? I can. Oh, wait. No, I can. Hold on. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's great. That's wonderful. I think I should actually build a trailer at some point that can hitch onto the back of this and then we could actually hitch it up if we wanted to go adventure and bring the bed with us, you know what I mean? And have it in like a little tent trailer. To be honest, I need to build a second bed and put it in the truck so whenever I go do trucking things, I can just swap the respawn point. I'm pretty sure we could fit a bed in the back of the truck here, no problem. And you'll notice too, I changed the hitch mechanism on the back. With the lag after last episode, I got rid of all the flat concrete wheel covers, so now it's just open wheels on this truck. And I uh, made the hitch mechanism out of pipes that's a little bit elevated. So hopefully, this is just less contact points and will lag a little bit less when we're towing a trailer. To be honest, I tested it for a little bit. It seemed okay, but I mean, I haven't really done it with like a huge load of all 28. And actually, we need to paint this. There we go. Perfect. So we're just going to wait for another, you know, 10 minutes or so until these potatoes fully grow. And, uh, and then we're going to fend off the farm bot wave, harvest all the potatoes, and go fight some bosses, I guess. All right, the potatoes are starting to grow. We only have a minute left though, so I think we're just gonna leave them until the morning. I don't think they're all gonna, yeah, we're not gonna have time to harvest. We're just gonna leave them and then we'll harvest them as soon as we're done killing everything. Also, I'm gonna try this battle in third person because third person, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of terrible, but when you do ADS in third person, it gives you this like crazy tight crosshair and zooms in a little bit, so. I feel like this is OP right here. I'm not a fan of third-person shooters, to be perfectly honest, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully we can kill these all and then harvest all these potatoes before the next wave spawns. I don't want to deal with two waves of stuff, but we got nine seconds. We'll see where these guys spawn at. Hopefully we can just kill them all mad quick. It shouldn't be too many. I mean, it's only potatoes, right? So it shouldn't be anything too bad. All right, over there. Yeah. Look at that. Like, look at how easy that is. Crazy easy with this crosshair. Who else? Is that it? Anybody else? Someone over here, right? There's always somebody attacking this stuff. No. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was pretty easy. Alright. 
Yeah, third person, that zoom is just insane. Okay, now we gotta harvest all this real quick. Um, so that nothing spawns for the next day. And then we gotta prepare our supplies and get going as soon as possible. I wanna get over to the red zone. It's kind of far. I've been mining lots of charcoal to make metal 3, obviously, and to make glass. Because both of those things require the charcoal. And I've fully mined out just a bunch of charcoal zones. But uh, there is another charcoal zone that I found, and it's the one that has all these bosses in it. So I want to get going there as soon as possible, just to, you know, get all the uh, the bosses killed if we can, and get some warehouse keys. I know that that's how you get into the warehouse, is to actually kill the bosses. So I'm hoping we can just do that mad quick. Don't need that. Let's fill this with potatoes. We're gonna have a lot of extra potatoes. This is good though. Their zone I saw had like four or five of them there last time. So hopefully there's at least a couple. And there were some spots where I think we'd be able to shoot them no problem without getting killed. So we've got some extra seeds. We don't need these. So I just usually throw them in the lake. They despawn eventually. And now let's fill up our inventory with potatoes and beets. Lots of beets. Yeah, that should be more than enough beats i think this is literally what we need if we can't kill the boss oh actually we need a couple slots the bosses drop stuff so there we go all right beats okay we should be we should be well equipped let's get going it's pretty much like just all the way down the road so let's get out of here um oh shoot i guess i should collect all this stuff first right yeah probably should all right everything's cleaned up should be good let's get out of here we got tons of gas this vehicle doesn't really consume that much and let's head down the road. We should be able to get all the way there uh, within a couple minutes. I don't think it's going to take too long. And then once we're there, we're going to park the Jeep kind of a little bit outside of the zone. I don't want a boss accidentally wrecking it. So we'll walk in just to make sure. But the bosses that I saw, it's a weird zone. You'll see when we get there. But it's like some kind of valley and there were bosses down in the valley. If we can just stay up top, I think we'll be okay and be able to shoot down at them. But we're going to just head down the road for a bit. And, uh, you know, we'll get there soon enough. Woo! Send it! Alright, we're good. I love this car, man. It's so fun. Like, this car is, is... Oh, oh, I spoke... Nope. See, look. Can't even, can't even die. Spoke too soon, though. That's how I got killed once. A few people were saying that double wishbone suspension is kind of excessive for survival. And I kind of agree with you. Because, you know, you can make adjustable suspension setups like this that could deploy to two different heights without having all the extra double wishbone stuff. And you can do it with just a suspension piece and a piston, no problem, and it'll be fine. But I will say, this looks really cool. Like, you know, you, when you just watch it going down the street and you see the double wishbone actually moving up and down, it looks really, really cool. I agree, you can do it much simpler and a lot less effort and get the exact same result, but it just looks really neat to, uh, to have the suspension just, you know, bounce like that and actually go up and down in kind of like a, a more realistic style mechanism to a real car but i mean it's definitely not really useful by any means like the amount of material it cost me to do this was just more for the cool factor rather than actually for like some crazy functionality i mean you can do the same functionality with half the parts and you'll be just fine doing that so i think we're getting close um yeah we should there's a lake here on the right and then we go past a charred zone on the right that I've completely mined out. And then it should be on the left of that, which I think is coming up here soon. I honestly can't remember. It'll be nice when the devs put in that beacon system they showed on Twitter, because then we'll be able to put beacons for points of interest around the map. Of course, it'll be nice if we can turn them on and off, because otherwise the map will get really, really cluttered really fast. But yeah, okay, here we go. On the right, this is the, the mined out charred zone completely mined out of charred trees it just looks like a flat desert that's also where the one dwarf spawns so there'll be a dwarf there all the time and then all we do is drive off the road left of that charred zone through this field and i think we'll come across another charred zone let's just go into off-road mode just so we can see look there's hay bots and stuff yeah through this field here we go here's another charred zone up here so this charred zone this is the one that has the boss spawns, I think. And I've started mining this one, but I haven't fully mined it out yet. Eventually, we'll probably end up fully mining this thing out because, let's be real, I need more charcoal to build more heavy metal and glass and all that fun stuff. So we're going to leave our car here. And then this is the zone where I think there were bosses somewhere. So I got to just be a little bit careful. It's 
eat some beets, make sure we're at full health all the time. Yeah, so I started mining these trees out, and then I noticed there was a boss guy, and then I noticed there was another boss guy, and I was like, oh my god, this is insane. So let's hopefully kill some of them right now. Now, I only have a regular spud gun. I don't have the Gatling gun or the shotgun, so this is going to be an interesting battle, but the devs did mention that you can't kill the bosses with anything except a spud gun. Like, a hammer won't even do any damage to them. Look at this, though. Look at this. There's, like, melted bosses everywhere. It's so cool. It's like they got burnt in this zone. Look at that. It's just a pile of goop. Be cool if you could mine these piles, to be honest. All right, so this is the valley. So I think they're down. There we go. There's one, right? And see, he's down in this valley with, like, burning bosses and stuff. So I think we can shoot him from here, and he'll never be able to, you know, get us. I just want to check and make sure there's not another one just right around this corner. But this valley here is, like, full of charred bosses and actual bosses. There's another one way up there. Okay, so yeah, and oh, and there's one here on the left. Oh, and another one down there. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, let's kill this guy first. I don't know how this is gonna go, to be perfectly honest. All right, let's use this third person camera. Go. Oh, he's angry. He's coming, he's coming this way. Okay, he's, he's down below. I can't really shoot him. He can't hit me either. Okay, this is, uh, this is an interesting predicament. Um, I don't want to accidentally fall. Night. There we go. Nice. Alright, this is a little bit OP, but... Oh, oh, come on, come on. There we go. Sir, sir, just stay in my line of sight, please. Nice. If I fall, we're, like, screwed. We're totally screwed. Like, I'm terrified of accidentally going too far forward on these rocks. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. I feel like we can get the rest of them pretty much the same way. I mean, obviously, he didn't get a chance to attack us. Two component kits, a warehouse key. Awesome. Awesome. All right. One warehouse. Holy durability! What? just make our base out of warehouse keys can we put them down well that's that's like the best base defense right there you literally just cover your walls in warehouse keys just mine a ton of warehouse keys and cover your walls with them that's insane why is that so good i mean i guess they don't want you to lose it if you put it down somewhere and some bot comes they want it to be a while before a bot kills it but you could literally build a wall of warehouse keys that is like if you had 50 of them just start covering your wall with them and bots won't do anything. All right, let's get another one, though. Let's just kill all the ones that are here. Hey, bud. There's one way down there. None behind us. Let's just let's just shoot this guy. Look at that. Oh, this one's going to be the easiest kill ever. He's just stuck there. feel kind of bad, but I don't at the same time. Because look at how many shots these guys take. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Actually, you know what? That's not even that many shots. Alright. So... We gotta go down. Okay. Please don't ragdoll. Please don't ragdoll. Please don't... Okay, we're okay. Uh, there's no way I can get those items. Can I? Nope. He's mad. He's angry. He's angry. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh no, he's not. Oh no, he is. Oh, he's stuck too. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you're dead. Man, this is actually really easy. Two of them are stuck already. That's actually fantastic. I mean, I would assume normally they're not always going to be stuck like this, but I'm going to probably have to come back here a bunch of times just to farm for more warehouse keys and more component kits. These guys drop like two component kits each, it seems. Like, how many component kits is this? Ember. Oh, okay. I think he just wrecked a tree. That's fine. Warehouse key component kit. Nice. Three warehouse keys already and five component kits. All right. There was one more up here somewhere, right? So let's see if we can get him to without dying. Oh, there he is. There's one right over there. Are there any more? Or is it just the four of you? I mean, the valley keeps going up that way. So we'll have to check it out. All right. You're dead. Let's go, bud. Come here. Yeah, get stuck. Get stuck. You try and climb that rock. This is this is kind of OP, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty much the only way to beat these guys without, you know, 
having a vehicle or lots more guns or better guns. Apparently the Gatling gun is really good against these guys. I haven't tried it, but that's what people have been telling me. I mean, if it is, that's great. But these guys are honestly pretty easy to kill. Holy, four component kits on that guy? Awesome. But yeah, they're pretty easy to kill if they can't attack you back. I mean, if you can just sit somewhere with your spud gun, get up maybe on like, even the ones in the wild, if I could get up on one of those like structures and shoot down on them, I feel like it would be okay. All right, are there any more? Is that it? So many melted carcasses of them. That's awesome. I love this zone. This is great. Nice boss farming zone. Easy to get the keys from. All right, let's do one more check around, make sure, and then head on back home. I think that's it. There's actually only four of them. Last time I was here, four spawned as well. So I wonder if that's just like the spawn limit or if more of them come. I'm not exactly sure, but... There were four both times. All right, well, let's head on back. Hopefully our car's fine. Should be. It was up on the lift. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, to be perfectly honest. But um, we also had, like, huge advantages with that valley there. Being able to shoot down and having them get stuck. So probably going to have to actually try and fight one one-on-one -on -one at some point and see how that goes. But uh, I want to get the better guns first. I think the Gatling gun, the shotgun, I think those are both necessary in order to take down bosses but either way we got some warehouse keys which is fantastic i'm super excited to check out the warehouse haven't done that yet and you need to get the better seeds to get the better guns anyways and apparently you can only get the better seeds in the warehouse so gonna definitely have to go there and check those out and uh get some warehouse loot and see what that's all about whoa whoa hold on hold on a second hold on a second sorry dude you're dead um I saw something really cool up here. What is that? I've never seen something like this. Look at this. What is what is that? Oh, it's just one of those exploded containers, but it's way up on the roof. Okay, that looked like a weird sphere thing from a distance. Is that just a regular structure? Oh, it's just a regular structure. Okay, okay, I'm less excited now. I thought it was something cooler. All right, almost back at base. This is the one packing station, the fruit packing station. Apparently, a lot of people were telling me uh, tomato is not a vegetable. So um, the other one is the veggie slash fruit packing station, and this one is just the fruit station. Pretty sure all the rest of them are fruits. I thought tomato was one of those things that was like, you know, could be a vegetable, could be a fruit. I don't actually know the definition of it, but everyone was telling me, Con, you're dumb. Tomatoes aren't vegetables. Coming up to the second packing station, the veggie plus fruit packing station. I still think tomatoes seem more like a vegetable. I know, I know people are going to say, well, the definition is a fruit. They, they seem like a vegetable, you know? It just, it just seems like it should be a vegetable. I, I mean, oh, hello. You didn't die, really? Okay. All right, back at base. Everything's still in one piece, it seems. Wonderful. What an adventure. All right, well, we got four warehouse keys now which is kind of awesome. I, I need to do a few things. Like I need to do more mining. I need to do more building because there's other buildings I want to build, but obviously we need to mine first. I want to build more trailers as well. And now we've got warehouse keys. So I guess I need to explore the warehouse as well. Four warehouse keys. That's awesome. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you think we should do next episode. Do you, I mean, I think maybe a warehouse raid, but honestly, I kind of want to do more building and maybe build another trailer for the truck, like, you know, a good utility trailer or something. But either way, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.